Hello all, I am Sai and you are watching the book dragon. In today's video, I am bringing to you my answers for the questions in the end of the year book tag. I know that the end of the year is over two months in the future, but I am filming this video now itself because if I finish talking about all these books in this video itself, I will have two more months in order to finish reading all of them. There are just six questions in this tag, so this video will probably not be very long, but I don't trust myself. I have dropped all these six questions in the description. Don't forget to leave your answers in the comments below because I always read through them and reply. So without any further ado, let's get into the questions right away. Question number one. Are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? For this I want to talk about two specific books because I've been reading them for quite a while now and uh, of those the first one is The Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman. This is the last and final book in the His Stark Materials trilogy. This is the only series which I've been reading very slow this year despite it being really really good. Now the thing about this book is that it is very huge that's the only problem for me. When it comes to the writing of the book and everything that's within, I've experienced only really good things in the first two books. I'm pretty much positive that I'll be finishing this in October and I'll be bringing up the review for the entire series sometime in the future. So this is definitely one book which I want to finish by the end of this year because if I finish this, I'll not just have finished a big book but also a series. The next book is Hippie by Paulo Coelho. I started reading this somewhere in the mid of September and as soon as I started reading it, I understood one thing alone which is that in order to enjoy and experience this book completely, I have to read it very very slowly because it is kind of a memoir but written in a fictional style by the author and each and everything that he describes is almost like a reading a travelogue of the person who has just travelled through the world. I am not even that far into the book, okay? The book is 300 pages long and I have just read 60 pages or so in this one month. I am sure that if I sit down and read it continuously, I will not be able to enjoy it as much as I am doing it right now. It just puts us in this trance when we are reading this book and that is something which I just enjoy a lot when it comes to any type of book if it does that to me. So I definitely want to read this by the end of this year and uh, enjoy it completely but I'm definitely not going to speed read it because if I do that I'll not be able to enjoy this and the one thing which I want to get out of this book is definitely enjoyment. Question number two, do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? For this I'm going to something with a winter vibe which is chilly to read because we don't have autumn in India and uh, now we're in December are like peak winter season at least for us here in Chennai and uh, it is always unpredictable. I've actually chosen two books on my Kindle because I just bought Kindle Unlimited and I've uh, curated a list of books which I want to read by the end of this year and of those two I'm very much interested in reading. One actually I'm currently reading right now and uh, it is to Kill a Kingdom by Alexander Christo. Now this is a fantasy which has Siren Lord put into it. I know Mermaid Lord a little bit but I don't know anything about Sirens at all. So everything that I'm reading from this one is very fascinating and interesting for me to read. At the same time it's a bit dark so it does suit the winter vibe really really well. Apart from this I also have The Spot of Kaigen by Emil Wong if I'm not saying the author's name wrong because I don't remember the author's name properly. These two I'm planning to finish by the end of this month itself. I'm sure that I'll be finishing To Kill a Kingdom by this month but I'm not sure about The Spot of Kaigen but these are two books which I'm planning to use as transition books to get into winter. Question number three, is there a new release you're still waiting for? I'm actually waiting for just one book to release this year and I'm like 90% sure that it's not going to release this year at all and I'm talking about the black volume of the dead by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu. It is the last book in the Eldest Curses series, okay? That's like one of the very low key series inside the Shadowhunter Chronicles and I cannot say that I've enjoyed the series that much also so far. The first book I enjoyed it completely okay. It was like so different from what I expected and every chapter and bit of that book was super enjoyable and engaging for me to read. But when it came to the second book which is the Lost Book of the White it was not at all interesting okay. It just felt like it was built up in a really good way with a wonderful setup but towards the end everything was just thrown down the drain. It was like that for me. So I'm expecting to see something really good in the Black Volume of the Dead because I know that Cassandra Clare always delivers some huge punch when it comes to her series climaxes. I don't even have to talk about Clockwork Princess. I just talked about it a million times already in the channel. So I do trust that she will end the Eldest Curses properly with the Black Volume of the Dead. But if it doesn't happen, I don't know what because uh, it's Magnus' series and I don't see Magnus being given that much importance at all in any of the books. I expect it happens at least in the last book. I don't think it will be releasing this year but if it does, it's definitely my most anticipated release. Question number four, what are three books you want to read by the end of the year? These are actually the exact same three books that I talked about in the mid-year book freakout tag also because I have not even bought them yet. The first of those is Rule of Fools by Lee Bardugo which is the supposed grand finale for the Grisha Wars series which is my all-time favorite series. And then we have uh, One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. I did enjoy Red, White and Royal Blue. It was very very entertaining so I am expecting to get a lot out of this one also. I have heard mixed reviews for it from different people but I definitely want to give it a try by myself. And the last and final one is definitely a book which is very sweet so far as I've heard from the people whom I trust when it comes to booktube and it is Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon. Ever since I saw that this book was going to come out I wanted to pre-order and purchase it but I have like nearly a hundred books in my physical DVR already so I don't want to pile up the books continuously. I want to 
bring down some books which I have not read and then buy new books. So I'm waiting for that to happen. But if everything goes as per plan and if I buy all these books properly in the time that I want to, I will read all of these properly by the end of the year. Let's just hope and cross our fingers that it happens. Question number five. Is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? For this, I have one book alone, which is a series finale and it is a Sky Beyond the Storm by Sabat Ahir. This is the last book in the Ember Quartet. I've actually finished reading the first half of the quartet, which are the first and second books. The first book I cannot say that I completely enjoyed because the first quarter of the book was boring for me and after that I enjoyed it completely. The second book was totally phenomenal, okay? Each and every chapter of that book was really, really well written and the character development that Sabat Ahir has given to each and every one of her three characters was amazing, okay? They have superpowers right now and they also have greater threats that are dangling above their heads and if they do something wrong, I'm sure that they'll end up in worse places than they are right now. So I'm definitely waiting to see how it's going to end. I've only heard really good things about the finale for the series also. No one has said anything negative at all. So all these things just hype up these last two books in the series very much for me. I've not started the third book yet, but this week when I'm filming this video, I'll definitely start it. And I'm sure that I'll be finishing the series in October itself because I know once I start reading these books, it'll be very, very easy to read them because they are super fast paced. So yeah, I definitely think that this might become one of my favorites for the year. The last and final question, question number six. Have you already started making reading plans for next year? One thing which I want to say really, really clearly is that while I plan everything so much in advance and schedule them properly, it always messes things up for me so much. So one thing I've learned really well from this year, 2021, is that if I plan things just for a single day, I remain very, very consistent and I can say that in the past nine months, I've read at least 10 books each and every month. And I don't think that has ever happened in my life before at all. Even in 2020, it did not happen at all. Okay. I had a lot of time. I read a lot, but it was not at all consistent. I read a lot in summer and when it came to the monsoon, it just dropped down and the winter picked up again. And in January, it just went low back. So from February, I've been working on myself. And one thing which I've clearly seen is that if I take things one day at a time, I'm able to achieve the goals far more easily compared to just taking them in chunks like months or quarters put together. I do plan my weeks ahead itself, but I'm not like packing it with the schedule so that I cannot change anything at all. I'm just letting things loose and uh, it is helping me so much more to do everything that I want. Okay, even this year, I think this is the most satisfactory I feel while I sit down and read books because it does not feel pressurizing at all. It is so, so happy and uh, very fulfilling rather than anything. So I don't have any reading plans so far for the next year. I think I might start planning in November or December, but as of now, I don't have any plans at all. But my aim is to just remain as much consistent as I can just like I have in this year in the following year also I know that it will be kind of ch uh, challenging for me because I will be starting to go back to office for work and not be working from home in 2022 probably so yeah my plan is to just remain consistent and uh, try to keep up the same pace that I'm having right now in next year also so in short I don't have any reading plans yet but if I follow the things that I followed now I'm sure that I'll be able to cope up really well next year also so yes guys those were all my answers for the questions in the end of the year book tag don't forget to leave your answers in the comments below because i always read through them and reply and i also like to know what are the books that you're planning to read for the rest of the year also if you did enjoy watching today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it to your friends if you want to get more content from me do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day